It's not an SD tool as a Spirit Run College family. My name is Mrs. Stefano and this is Mrs. Sinesios. I'm the head of the college and Mrs. Sinesios is the principal of the junior school. We cannot wait to have our children back into our school. Do you know that while you were at home, while you've been at home learning there with your parents, we've been here working hard, getting everything ready for your arrival. So welcome, come in. Christos Anesti, everybody, welcome. This is where you're going to come in every morning. You're going to hang your bags here. So, Kindergarten J, this is your classroom. Let's go and say hello to Mrs. Laskalakis. Hi, KJ. Um, I just want to introduce you to our reading corner. And when you walk around, guess who's hiding in there? Frankie's waiting for you. So looking forward to seeing you on Monday. So let's go to KC. Hi KC, how are you? Have a look around, have a look at your beautiful room. So have a look at the gorgeous artwork that you did with me last term. Looking forward to having you back. Bye. Girls and boys, we're in Mrs. Zafiropoulos' room and I wanted to bring your attention to this beautiful icon. It's the banner here. And it's the Glicophilusa, it's called, where Banaia is kissing baby Jesus. And as you can see in this classroom, this icona is in a very special place. Because when Mrs. Aferopoulos started at this school, this icona was in her classroom. And every classroom that she has gone to, this icona has come with her. It's a very special icona for Mrs. Zafiropoulos. So she's got the sweet kissing mother of Jesus here. And then in all the classrooms, as you can see, we've got the beautiful icon of Jesus blessing the children. See how Jesus got all the children around him? And all the mums are bringing all the children to Jesus? That's like you. We bring you to Jesus through all the things that we do in this school. So girls and boys, this is the beautiful new library that everybody in kindergarten, year one, year two, year three, year four, year five will, and year six will use. And my favorite part is that you'll be able to sit down and read your book with your friends. This is Mrs. Kipriotis' room. So year one, when you come in to have your lovely lessons with Mrs. Kipriotis, you'll be using this space. This is the staff room where the teachers will have their lunch and where you'll be able to get your ice packs and your band-aids at lunchtime. And this is Mrs. Kipriotis' office for all the mums and dads. And in this room is Miss Liakatos. So excited. We can't wait to see you back next week and share this amazing space with you. We finally have our own English learning support room. Girls and boys, this is the math support room and Mr. Duke is here. Hi Kizzy, year one, year two and year three I think will be using this space. Just can't wait for you guys to come back. This room will be used for many purposes, maths included. Please come into the music room. This space is going to be used by all the students kindergarten to year six. This is where you're going to learn not only about singing, but how to write music, how to make music together and alone. And as you can see in every classroom, we have the latest version of the interactive whiteboard. Come through and have a look because in these two rooms, you can also practice instructional music. You can learn your piano in here, practice your guitar or your singing. Or your buzuki, as I heard that we're doing buzuki at the school as well. It's very important that we keep each other safe with our hygienic purposes, and your teachers will remind you every day, and these will remind you every day as well. Let's go upstairs. So, girls and boys, we're going to go to the year one rooms just down this corridor. Welcome to the year one room. It's such a beautiful, tranquil place. I think um, my favourite area is the conference table and also our investigation table near the door. Year one, I'm going to show you a great new feature in your classrooms. And this is in all of the classrooms in this new building. Let's go this way. So all your classrooms have this space where you can wash your brushes, wash your hands. When you change activities, you'll have your own facilities here. All your supplies will be in here. 
Let's go see Mrs. Manoglu. Welcome to the 1T classroom. And my favorite corner is right over here that I'm sure you will enjoy spending lots of time as well in our reading corner. Beautiful. Everyone, come in. Come and see our beautiful new classroom. I miss you all, but I've been looking at your portraits waiting for you all to come back and join me. I was just having a little bit of a play with um, the whiteboard. Mr. Dickey was helping me out. We can learn all about our um, shapes, um, time, fractions, and over here we have our inspirational rules to be kind to one another. And we always come and look at our goals to make sure that we are on, on task. Hello, year two. Welcome to your bright new classroom. I've finished putting all your artwork up for you, all ready for you to look at on Monday. Okay, the STEM room. My favourite room in the school thus far. Come in. So we've got the robots all ready for you to program, to play around with, invent. You'll also be allowed to use some of the computers. We'd like to thank the wonderful BNF because they have funded most of the technology in the school, these laptops, the robotic equipment, and to all the parents who contribute to all our fundraising. We're gonna go into 3G now, into Miss Sutton's room. Hello and welcome to your brand new classroom, 3G. How exciting is this? Uh, boys and girls, I can't wait to see you all again. We have such a beautiful space in our classroom. This is actually going to be our display wall for all of your amazing artwork. And a very important space in our school that belongs to our Greek language teachers. And I'd like to show you their workspace. <laughs> So, as Mrs. Sinestros has just said, this is the Greek language teacher's workspace. It's going to be a space for us to prepare our work and collaborate. To our parents and our students, this is a reminder, if you look outside, as to what this college stands for. When Father Stephen started this school in 1983, it was because we wanted, and he wanted, young people to grow up in our faith. And this is the values on which every day of your experience is based on. On faith, on love, on hope, on family. And that is what sustains us when things are difficult. And that's the thing that we celebrate when things are good because life has both light and dark. But in our church, there is always light. And you'll be going there with your teachers as you already know and as you've already been and all our celebrations come to life because of our church. Can you see this beautiful owl? This was made by Mr. Lollas for you. Not only is a fabulous Greek teacher, but is also a great artist. So we've got the owl for wisdom, for learning, and around on this wall, we have the alpha and the omega. And what I would like is for one of you, when you come back to school, to tell me what the alpha and the omega means, apart from it being the first letter and the last letter of the Greek alphabet, it's got a very other important meaning. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you about what that meaning is. Please come on through and see all this grass area that you'll have to play on. And even if it's raining, you won't have to play inside, you can play outside in all this undercroft area. So that'll be great, won't it? And all in the embrace of the church. Thank you everyone for joining us for today. We hope that you have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you on Monday in this wonderful new space. Christos Anist.